Hey, my Revivors, I'm here to talk to you as a big sister, um, friend in your head, whatever it is that you feel that I am to you, cousin, uh, auntie, you know, godmama, whatever you feel that I am, I'm coming to you as a woman who has experienced an empress who has experienced so many things in my life. And uh, sometimes when I'm meditating and I'm talking to God, I say, God, why is it that you've allowed me to be resilient and get through all of these things and experience so much? But he told me recently, he said, I need you to open your mouth more. Because see, we talk about a lot of things, but then there's some things that we don't want to touch on. I'm here as a mom used to be a single mom, was a married mom, you get what I mean? And um, went through uh, just trying to understand parenthood, what it entails, and nobody has the blueprint, okay? But what I will say is, in all things, remember that the child, the child is the ultimate reason for doing all things. Remember that these babies that you have grow up to be adults. Remember that all the things that you put into that child and they see on a consistent basis, you get what I mean? If you are, let's say, this is what I wanted to get into. If you are a vindictive, manipulative, selfish, evil woman, I'm a woman, so I'm talking to the women. I'm talking to you young ladies who are coming up. I'm in my 40s, okay? I'm talking to you young ladies who are coming up and embarking on relationships, intertwining sex, having babies, okay? Things don't always stay the same. I don't care if you're married to the person. Yes, God says be fruitful and multiply, but multiply in a way that if you had to face a crisis and it's only you, can you stand firm and be able to take care of those children? Has that man had enough of uh, work behind him, work experience to leave something behind to take care of you and those children? Think of all these things. Let me tell you why I'm here and what irritates my gears. Oh, this irritates my gears. When I hear single women tell their children's father, we're talking to the vindictive, manipulative women who are hurt, who are, uh, what do they call it, angry that it didn't work or the baby trap didn't work and, and he still went about his life and continued to live his life. He told you he wasn't ready. You thought the baby would make him ready. If a person ain't ready, there's nothing you can do to get them ready. Okay, do you hear me? If a person ain't ready, there's nothing you can do to get them ready. Do you hear me? If a person is not ready, there's nothing that you can do to get them ready. They need to do that on them on their own. Do you hear what I'm saying? They need to do that on their own. I'm telling you, and I'm talking from a woman who who is a woman who loves to go hermit mode because I like to do things on my own. There's no need for me to share with you or tell you anything if you cannot help me in my relationship or in my in my self journey journey of learning self because every day we learn something new about ourselves if you are one of those types of women who feels that you have the bomb stuff between your legs and it is going to change him um there's a lot of kooky kooky out here kuda ruda whatever you want to call it. there's a lot of it out here okay but there's a difference between a lot of that and a woman of substance even a woman with substance cannot get noticed from a man who is not ready so don't think that you have so much substance that you could change a man who's empty, who's broken, okay? There's a lot of broken men. There's a lot of uh, broken women. There's a lot on both spectrums. I'm not here to talk about either of the two, but I'm here to talk about the union of the two having a child. This is something that I can speak from that I don't like and I have brothers, okay? When a woman states to a man, being a parent is a 24-7 job not just the weekend or whenever that father we're talking about fathers who care who get their children weekly or get their children like they're supposed to on a consistent basis let me break this down for you i'm so sorry i'm so sorry guys i just did like a eucalyptus uh flush and i'm feeling still feeling it so there are 120 hours in five days i'm saying five days because the two days are given to the man right and there are only 48 hours in the two days right 
So let me tell you this, man, if you ever have to go to court or if you ever have to put this out there, because a lot of times we see the big picture, but don't look at the details and it's not fair because the details matter. Okay. So you have 120 hours for the five days. Oh, well, if that mom, a lot of these moms that's complaining and bothering you, either they don't have a job that working part time and they want you to take care of them and that child. And that's why they keep going back to court to get more to try to make your life miserable because you moved on and you do not want them. Okay. So let's go back. We have 120 hours. So the lady says you uh think that you're a father when you only get the child on the weekend parenting is 100, 100 is 24 7 okay let's say it's 24 7 okay i know as a parent and i'm a great parent i feel like i've done my best and i did the best that i can do so here's the thing so every day my child has to go to school throughout throughout the week okay so when my child goes to school she leaves here about six something in the morning and she doesn't come back to almost four that's almost like 10 hours so let's just take those away that's only 14 hours left right if i'm a working mom then if you take away from the 14 do you see what i'm saying that's six hours left so if you take six and you times it by five that's only 30 hours and that's only if i get right off and come straight home most of the time a lot of these moms and the ones that do still works their jobs and working all the time overtime and all these doubles and triples is a difference right we're talking about those so if i'm stepping on your toes and you're feeling some type of way you need to change the way you do things and react respond to your uh stop reacting responding to your baby father and be cordial because it's not about you it's about the child okay so let's go back we have 120 hours that we're starting with five days right five days so if we have 120 hours right and then those 120 hours are so the 120 hours is broken down you should be getting sleep let's just say you sleep eight hours a day that's 40 hours taken away let's say you go to work 40 hours a day but that's also taking hours away too because you're not coming straight home you're probably in traffic you try, probably have to stay over some time so let's just take that 80 hours away you're now left with 40 hours in the week most of the time parents wait to the weekend to do something with their kids because the kids are active they're active if your child is active if you're a parent who has an active child not only does that child get out of school but then they go and do something after school your week has been boggled down to about 30 hours not even not even right but then the father comes get the child on days that they don't have school so he's starting off with a fresh 16 hours for each day taking away the eight hours a day that the child would sleep if they slept that long right so that's 36 hours but guess what more than likely that father is trying to find some type of activity bowling swimming depending on it take him to the beach take him to amusement park taking them out to eat trying to find something for them to do with that child because they only get two days right we have 36 hours we already took away the sleeping for the kids so that's 36 hours and if that that child that that man goes to pick that child up after school on friday and then takes them to school on monday let's add hours back we already back up at 40 if we add those hours back right not to mention parenting is not a title parent is a title you are a parent if you do the parently duties to your child. I am not parenting 24-7. I am a parent, but I am not parenting 24-7. When my daughter is sleeping in her eight hours, I'm not next to her bed like, are you okay? Is everything fine? You're breathing? Are you good? Okay, mommy's right here. I'm not doing that. When she's in school, I don't follow her to school because I should be doing what I need to do to, su to supply my part of what I got to do for my child as well. So I'm not in school with her. So those 16 hours more than 16 because she don't give it's like 10 hours by the time she get back from doing track and everything more than uh 16 hours are gone already so technically we working with a good three four hours tops if these things are being done like they should be right so i want you to take that to the bank and think about it when you keep saying that parenting is 24 7 when you don't parent all day every day and technically the guy getting the kids on a weekend they have them more than you and they're doing more interaction and creating experiences so fathers that are dealing with this that are good fathers who want to be there it didn't work with you and the woman there she's being vindictive and she wants to be evil take that to court with you because i don't think nobody thinks about it that deep parenting is not 24 7 you are a parent 24 7 that's the title but you don't parent 24 7 don't let them women take that from you if you get your kids consistently and sometimes they don't even they don't even go home like they should because she got all the things that she's doing that's stopping you from dropping them off hours added 
add the hours up. So if you're neglectful, then who is she if she spends less time with the child? I'm just saying. Stick to your script because you are the best at it. And don't let anything you can't control control you. And I will see you guys later. Get this.